Pretty sure that's illegal. Labor laws. Oh, and apparently I'm not muted, so hello there, anyone who is early. Hello, and we're watching our later. Hillian here along with. Drakir! 
And yeah, apparently my macro keys are still not working with uh, OBS despite yeah, running it as an administrator and anyone else at the start there. And heard me talking whilst I wasn't muted. There was about uh, apparently the developer's chucklefish being a bunch of chuckle fox with you know, people, well, with not paying people. But yeah, yeah, besides it, that, uh, yeah, it's welcome old back news, to the though. Yeah, it's old news, by the way. It says I just mm. watched a lot of mini documentary about it. Okay, last time we ended up in the middle of a, we ended in the middle of an episode of a mission because otherwise things would have uh, gone a bit short last week. Uh, yeah, we're going for the Lord <laughs> Regent, but we're going for the not. We're trying to get to the non-lethal takedown of him, which requires um, luring him. Uh, oh yeah. Uh, Share to you. I got a bit distracted by well, the freaking macro keys not working. Yeah. <laughs> like you, you spend, you spend a, a bunch of time trying to get all that to work and. Still, it refuses. Okay, let's have a little look. This floor should be mostly clear of enemies now. I uh, mostly. I think there should still be someone. Yep, over there with his dog. Let's see. Yeah, the comm station is that way. Lord Regent is there. There should be some way to lure him over there. I think. Hmm. Now, ow. Okay. It almost killed us in one hit. Where oh. is your power source? Down there. Okay. And we know what to do. There we go. Wait, it, it's... It's gone by rats, ain't it? Yeah, not enough to be dangerous. And well, there, a key to the broadcast station. That'll save us a bit of looking around for an alternate way in. But yeah, I'd rather take a little bit of damage over getting shocked by that thing a second time. Okay. Yeah, let's keep this nice. up just in case. It still has a lot there limited. A citywide ban on whale oil is now in effect. Citizens are encouraged to bring any whale oil in their possession to the city watch at once. Anyone caught burning oil will be subject to arrest. This message is a directive from the Lord Regent himself. We must all trust in the Regent. Right, that... So they're banning their one fuel source? Um... Okay, they must be running on an absolute shortage. Or they just managed to fuck things up. Let's see. Yeah, what? Well, they, they seem to be able to use coal at least, but... Why this sudden ban? Okay, let's do a little save here because I think... Uh, let's overwrite that. I'm not sure if he is hostile to us or not. Please. Please don't hurt me. You're here to kill the Regent, aren't you? Spare my life, and I can help you beat him. He makes recordings on audiograph. Secrets. Some that would destroy him if others heard. Played on this amplifier, his confessions would be broadcast throughout the city. He'll be ruined. The audiograph card you want is in a safe in the Lord Regent's room. But I was able to see the combination over his shoulder. 935. Trust me, what's recorded on that card will do the trick. Good luck. Okay. <laughs> so now all we have to do is knock the fuck out. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> Play that for everyone to hear. Why do you misread audiograph to autograph? It's the sewers beneath Dunwall excerpt from a light historical overview of the architecture of Dunwall. 
Across the generations, the aqueducts and tunnels beneath the city of Dunwall have served a, a variety of purposes. In the earliest days of the city's history, several primary channels were used to channel river overflow during the days of, during times of flooding. And for a time, it was fashionable for wealthy aristocrats to commission underground water passages, giving them access to their estate from the Renhaven, Renhaven River and its minor territories. Over the years, these tunnels began to interconnect, sometimes by design and sometimes by accident. The history of the tunnel system is rich. As every school child is taught, rebels used the sewers extensively during the Morley insurrection. As discussed in popular bar songs, lovers often find privacy in some of the clearer entry points, which fresh air brought in, uh, brought in on the winds from the river itself. On a darker note, in addition to seeing traffic from gangs and from smugglers, it is rumored that the current royal spymaster himself, Hiram Burroughs, has a network of informants who know the twists and turns of the sewer system by heart. Until recent times, the old tunnels suffered from repeated collapse, creating sinkholes that occasionally consumed entire street corners. The current system rarely suffers from such calamities, since the sewers have, uh, were reinforced and expanded by the city planning department during the rule of Emperor Uhorn called wind of first. Okay. That is one way for a sewer system to spring into existence. Yeah, and um, that's a good emperor to do, to actually spend money to fixing them. Then again, a good ruler probably knows that sinkholes in a city is bad. The Tower of Dunwall. Excerpt on a historical examination of Dunwall Tower. For over a century, Dunwall Tower has been the capital of the city of, uh, uh, of capital of the Isle of Crystal, and the seat of power across all the Isles of the Empire. Rulers have come and gone, each adding something to the structure: gardens, observatories, new walls, pools, and specialized interior chambers to suit their needs and whims. Dunwall Tower has withstood numerous wars, several large-scale fires, and the collapse and rebuilding of the Northern Wing. With Tivia and Circonus joining the Empire first, it was more late that resisted longest. Some of the conflicts that arose during also necessitated in the further fortification of the tower. Repeated assassination attempts near the end of the conflict with Morley resulted in the creation of the royal protector position, with each ruler choosing his or her, uh, her own royal protector after careful consideration. Okay, that explains our position. And actually, we could probably just scare him out by uh, setting off an alarm, which will hopefully leave his door unlocked when he pisses off. Oh, or it's already unlocked. <laughs> okay. This is going to be satisfying if he keeps his back turned long enough. And go to sleep. It'll probably be the best sleep he'll have for the rest of his life. And we hear this loud and clear. No. Excerpt from a series of overseer ro roles and rituals. Over the centuries, the Abbey of the Everyman has held its place as the dominant religion across the Isles. Not only do its adherents call it the only meaningful faith, which is basically with every. <laughs> Most adherents to every faith typically call their own faith. But aside from a few t uh, tolerated variants, they castigate the followers of other religions as heretics, actively resulting in harm rather than harmony. A key component to the Abbey's health is the High Overseer. Venerated by all other overseers, the, the women in the orac oracular order in the congregations from each town and city across the empire. High Overseer is called upon to interpret the seven strictures and to initiate important ceremonies such as the Vogue Feast at the end of each calendar year. Above all, the High Overseer must embody these strictures, serving as a living example of their perfection. Well, we know someone who certainly wasn't. Upon the death of the acting High Overseer, it falls upon a council uh, made up of elder overseers to call the feast for the Feast of Painted Kettles. The first step in the arduous process of choosing a new leader for the Abbey. Okay. Now that's a, a name for something. Let's see. Yeah. Dude, there are some religions that are, like, most Buddhism, for example, are open to religion, and Judaism 
at least the older were open-minded for other religions as well. Even acknowledge there was other religion to respect. Yeah. Until it's... someone sort of rewrite the books and all that. Yeah. Lord Spymaster, we had a specific agreement and I planned around it. The Royal Protector wasn't part of that agreement. You assured me that she and the girl would be alone, so the price of the job just went up. Send the coin to the alternate dead drop or you will be, uh, be sure, or you can be sure will come calling. Dode. Yeah, that's the assassin that killed the Empress. And once we're done with the, uh, well, Lord Flat on his face here, we're going after him. So yeah, we're not done with this yet. I'll be taking that. And is there anything else of note here? No secret buttons hidden in his own face? Like his nose? He'd probably be arrogant enough for that. Hmm. Yep. Okay. We... Isn't there no key of his room in here? I don't know. Here's the thing. If you're arrogant enough to use your own uh, bust, uh, don't take that out of our context. I mean, the statue bust. What port would you use as a button? Yeah, most of the time, they just flip open. Well, that's an easy way, since in the eye, it looks like you put yourself in the eye, the nose. You break your nose, turning the head, you twist your neck. You, you see the problem? Mm, it could be something hidden at the, the base or something in the... Uh, sometimes busts come with a bit of clothing. Could be, uh, yeah, that you put something in the... Uh, a button under the tie or something. But yeah, let's True. play this and... Uh, Let's listen to the Lord Regent's reputation crashing down. If I explain, then you will see I am not at fault. My poverty eradication plan was meant to bring prosperity to the city, to rid us of those scoundrels who waste their days in filth and drink without homes or occupations other than to beg for the coin for which the rest of us toil. And it was a simple plan. Bring the disease-bearing rats from the Pandician continent and let them take care of the poor for us. The plan worked perfectly at, at first, but the rats, oh, it was as if they sought to undo me. They hid from the catchers and bred at sickening rate. Soon it didn't matter, rich, poor, all were falling sick. And then people began to ask questions. The Empress assigned me to investigate whether the rats had been imported by a foreign power. I knew the truth would come out eventually, so there was no other way than to be rid of her and take power myself. She had to die, you see. She had to die. Bringing about the death of an Empress is not an easy thing. But it gave me the chance to attack the plague with some real authority. Quarantines, deportation of the sick, there's always some idiot woman searching for her wretched lost babe or some sniveling workman searching for his missing wife. And then quarantine is broken. But you can see how my plan should have worked. Would have worked if everyone had just followed orders. And I think uh, there's probably riots breaking out right about now. So, yes, not only was the motherfucker behind the assassination of the Empress, but even that was just to cover up the fact that he was... He basically started a genocide with a bioweapon. What are you doing? I order you to put down your weapons. This is treason. It's over, Hiram. Your head will roll for what you've done. No! I'll make you rich men if you just let me go. I beg you. You nearly destroyed this city. No amount of money will undo that. Get him ready for the walk to Cold Ridge Prison. Yes, sir. And I hope they stick his ass in the same cell that they stuck ours in. No, 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 no. Let's give, let's give him the worst one. 
And I'm pretty sure they would have given that one to the one they suspected of assassinating the, well, they had already convicted us, basically, of uh, assassinating the, the Empress. So now that they know the actual one, yeah, he's going to get the same, if not worse. And we are Probably typically worse, done here. It's incredible for it was not only the Empress he had assassinated, but yeah, as you said, trying to cover up, it was him who introduced genocide by rats. Yeah. So yeah, there's two extremely severe crimes done there. And if it was not was even uh, probably against her orders. The most. So, I'm, I'm thinking. Uh, uh, the, uh, okay, so this motherfucker is smart enough to look up. But uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure the Empress would have had him shot on the spot if she'd, think, uh, if she'd find out uh, that he brought in the rats. Yeah. So it's, oh, not that. It, it's, your, it's probably execution regardless, but the hmm. question is, just a regular execution or, do, or are they going to make it long spicy? and painful? Yeah, for... I'm not, I'm not fan of death penalties. I don't like it. There's only extreme extreme few cases I could see it, it happen but that's a case of if a person is too dangerous to really keep alive otherwise shade them up and lock them in a cell yeah I'm pretty sure that uh, an attempted genocide and assassinating of the Empress certainly counts for just removing someone and hello I didn't know I, oh, I I didn't notice that note. Uh, let's see. But yeah, if if someone is responsible for like absolutely horrendous crimes, like a uh, torture killing, serial killing, basically, if anyone has taken out uh, uh, like three more people, uh, three people, I'd say uh, yeah, remove them. Yeah, at least we had enough. However, this guy. He's not simply a circle, he made a genocide over hundreds and thousands of people. Yeah. Let's see. Influences of the oh. outsider. Brother, with an anxious heart, I respond to your letter. If your suspicion is true, I have grave misgivings about what those presiding over Dun about those presiding over Dunwall Tower. I have only recently resolved my disagreements with the Abbey, and it has come upon me that it is a surprise that made it some lobbying for me that that some are lovering for me to take up the mantle of high overseer but despite all that despite all that uh, is going on i hope to advise you personally in this matter i really should put a, f a chair against that door or something sometime <laughs> <laughs> last time you wrote you speculated that the mute who serves as torturer within dunwall towers might be a follower of the outsider he has an odd countenance his tongue is twisted and he cannot speak and a wolfhound follows him about uh, after this, the incomprehensible groaning and the litany of repeated whispers you hear coming from his chambers at night, it seems certain. At first I find it hard to believe. How can one I admire so, such as the Lord Regent, allow this to go unchecked within his own house? Surely he must, he must, respect, yeah, he must respect the seven strictures. Uh, obviously he does not. But now I see the pieces arranged before me, and, but now I see the pieces arranged before me, I must tell you. Uh, it aligns with the vision experienced by one of our sisters from the auricular, or, or, auricular, so or, like oracle, in a sect. Coming to me in the night, she spoke, silence inflicts pain, and a hound's shadow follows the puppet of the outsider. That lines up, but it, typically when things are that vague, you can f add a lot to that. Or you, can, you can fit a lot in that. Your position at the tower has been of great use to our order, and there is no shame in reporting back to me. You are an overseer, first and foremost. And it is your sole duty to protect the world of men from the malevolent influences of the outsider. Tell no others of this and await my instructions. I must wonder how high up into Dunwall Tower this corruption has spread. Martin. Okay. 
So even... I'm guessing that's an alternate avenue they were going with on this. That if... Um, <clears throat> if Corvo somehow failed to take out the, the Lord Regent, then they could have then they could have started a war with the Overseers, perhaps. Yeah. Oh, another thing about Death Penalty. It's another problem I have with Death Penalty. And that is... When you execute the innocent person by mistake. Yeah, that that is typically the biggest... Uh, that is typically the biggest counterpoint that people have to it, and uh, I'll take that. Yeah, or... It, Come on, that's fine. Guard, to me. Flank him. Beat your heart to the house. Get behind him. Take out his leg. He was caught. Let him. Let him. Flank him. Which guy? Come on, dip him in. Fuck this. Oh, that's a door we're not getting our hands on. Or a book we're not getting our hands on then. Tales for Children, we'll read that later. For now, let's just run over here and heal up. Oh, and that did... How did nobody notice this earlier? Like, he has it right in the freaking open here. Hmm. Now a part of me is curious. If we lure someone down here and they'd see this, would they go for the torturer? Probably not, but uh, worth a song. This baby would run away from a torturer. Where are you? So we have the dog there. <laughs> oh, the, he's he's in. Oh, hello. Let's deal with your dog. Really, no more ammo. Okay, give me this. Here you are, Corvo. Within the high levels of your enemy stronghold. You're an unstoppable force, it seems. But also, the Lord Regent lives despite all he's done. And that is no surprise. The last year must have been agony for such a tightly wound man, watching as the plague spiraled out of control. As people on the streets went mad and died from the eyes, knowing that it was all his fault. As you hunted down his people one by one and finally came for him, he must have realized that all his planning was for nothing, and that must have been exquisitely terrifying. But in the end, you chose the more measured response. What will that mean in the days to come? I've lived for a long time, and these are the moments I wait for. <laughs> okay, uh, uh, let's quickly stop this. And, uh... Oh, yeah. Wait, he is... Alright, we... Wait. Uh, <laughs> okay, uh, first off... Uh, yeah. <laughs> he's, he's an item. Yeah, eyes and didn't uh, fade out the same way he did. The second, I think we were a bit away from where he was supposed to be looking. <laughs> and yeah, third, I, that's something I didn't know before or must have missed earlier, that he has different reactions to when you, to your actions. Like if you find that rune before you've dealt with your target, and then after if you've dealt with them e either lethally or non-lethally. And it, that is nice. nice. And uh, I thought I had bend time upgraded to stop time, but apparently not. Either that or this guy is also using something to speed himself up. But for now, let's see. Oh, dearie, dearie. Down in the cellar, so dreary. Why don't you come out to see me when you were here? We made some spring, didn't we? Come back to visit and I'll give you another present, carved and shiny. You aren't much in the way of proper conversation, mind you, but I do love to watch you work. Come back and I'll tell you stories. Such stories. Your dear Granny. So Granny Rags has been keeping in contact with other outside followers. Yeah. Yeah. Well, 
I think it's almost more of uh, him. Got you now. should be hanging out with the artifacts and people hey. that should not have them. Yeah. And apparently I did not have it upgraded, so well, now we do. Uh, yeah, we have a bunch of runes, so I might as well upgrade that. Do that. Let's see. Release a powerful blast of wind, knocking their enemies off their feet and throwing them. But this power will also douse fires, shatter wooden doors, and blow projectiles like arrows back at the enemy who fired them. At level 2, wind blasts will throw enemies against the wall with enough force to kill them. Yeah, we're not going to grab that then. Oh, hello. Oh, okay. Goodbye. Okay, I think we mostly lost them. <laughs> uh, there's still a bone charm for us to get up there. So let's go take a look for that. Uh, secure the ring key. Most of this stuff is really not really well not really needed anymore, but still might as well grab it. And we might as well take that out. That one's new. Okay, let's check out those last two ones. Notes. Uh, just, no, not that one. Not that one. These. Tales for Children. Excerpt from a set of uh, cautionary tales for children. They say that Jimmy Whitcomb Re Riley was a roller his mate called Smiley. He ran around up and down town, pulling every kind of crimey. On Baldur Street, he, hang, he hung with the boys, throwing bricks and glasses and other toys. They'd start a fight, then run and hide, break, breaking, laughing, far and wide. Smiley liked to eat and drink all day, and smash and bash the night away. Drunk and all alone, he drifted off asleeping, sitting on a bridge along, along John Clavering. Okay, that does, that's not a good rhyme. When he woke, something strange he found, stranger than a singing wolfhound. And had become a blue-jawed hagfish most smiley, and mo only remembered his name was Smiley. Or, or sli oh, slimy. Most slimy. They say that uh, Jimmy uh, with uh, Comb Riley was never seen again for all timey, but he swam around up and down, drinking from the river, cry crying, why me? Uh, yeah, if you, want some if you want something like this to stick better, make it sure it all rhymes. <laughs> Yeah, something felt a bit forced around. Yeah. Looting in recent months, excerpt from a letter found in an empty house at the edge of Rutshore Financial District. The looting started in the warehouses. Once enough men took sick with the plague, the companies had to suspend operations. My husband Melkus was with the Meyerson Tobacco Leaf Company, which closed last year during the month of clans. We ran the uh, fireboxes at the main curing barn. Uh, Malka, <clears throat> Malka said, oh, uh, always said, blue curing made the sweetest leaf. Sickness hit the tobacco men hardest because of all the smoking. They ran with a small crew for a while, but around the time my husband got sick, the fires were put out and tobacco set rotting. Somehow the thieves knew and started stripping the place. Later they moved on to houses, the bastards. Could have been that someone brought... From the inside, uh, sold them the info. The oil nice. oh. He's coming to check on the oil, so let's just uh, drop that down here, just in the slight case that they are smart enough to actually put it back in. Yeah, no. I really hope the Lord Re Regent we get uh, the perfect punishment for him. So I wonder why the ban of Baynot whale oil. Mm. Yeah, that it, that be a question that goes deeper than what we'll probably find out. The torture, I mean, the royal interrogator. Oh no! Why do I have to take it? He's harmless unless you're scheduled for execution or for questioning. He's so strange. Always working on something he keeps secret, and he has that dog. Trust me, he's gentle as a lamb. Now, take him his food. <laughs> oh, you're coming this way. Yeah. Oh. 
People don't really like the torturer much. Most people don't, even history. Since it was an important job. Probably coming from the torturer's rooms. He's a walking freak show. Just stay clear of him. Everyone does. What's wrong? He's mute. But it's more than that. I heard the overseers were furious because they suspect him of practicing the dark arts. But the regent ordered them to leave him alone for now. Like I said, avoid the area. Don't worry about me, sir. That sounds like a bad combination all around. Oh, not the heck. But, as I say, torturers and executioners were sort of the outcast of society. They were respected, but no one wanted to be with them. They're probably <laughs> respected in the way of, uh, if I disrespect you, uh, that axe is coming down on my head next. Uh, next. Yeah. Mm. yeah, and other things. And also, especially executioners. Executioners were hereditary. Yeah, basically, uh, if a torturer died, his son had to take up the mantle. Yeah. And, and that'd be a rather grim thing to live up to. Yep, yeah, and they didn't just execute people, they did other work too. But, yeah. I think most of the superstition that people thought was bad luck to befriend one. Do. Yeah, I think there was also something going on. I don't recall if there was anything. If the only execution has only mattered on the execution or something like that, then, well, they need to get a bite somehow. Yeah, I, I find it doubtful that uh, <clears throat> they'd only be allowed, uh, like, I find it doubtful that something like that would be only allowed. Yeah, it, it was, it was, I mean, it have to see that episode again. I saw it on. YouTube, I forgot on who. I forgot my YouTuber's name, he has many channels. Please, sir, let me pass. You, um, please leave me. Okay, he has a rather non reaction to someone with a mask like ours and a blade. Well, he say, he t tells you, please let me pass. Well, he, he, it's himself not able to get past the stairs. Okay, this, uh, this is the kitchen, it seems. I was looking more for a way out or through, but oh well. We can go in here, though. And what have we here? The kitchen key. And that puts us out there. Okay, not where we wanted to go. So we did box ourselves a bit in a bit. Actually, let's get Blink. Open this. Is this the kitchen? <laughs> there we go. Now we're out. Somewhat. There we go. Now we can get... I'm probably wasting... It's only a bone charm. Shall we just head for the exit? If it's only one bone charm, unless it's a very good bone charm, I can say skip it, but if it's a very good one... Uh, no, we didn't mean to... We can't check what it is until we get close. And I'm not really uh, sure no. what we could, where we could read it, chip because it's behind the wall here. Yeah, the bone charm could be one of those we need, or they usually save very good charms and such at the very end. Though I think it's only very few games that it, that leaves almost worthless items at the end, which usually annoys me. There he is. And yeah, we'll, we'll go in there again. Actually, mm. nothing hidden here. 
Okay. Let's see how the Overseer goes. Okay, he's going in there. Then we can go back there. Look out. You got someone skulking around. And maybe this time... See if we can be a bit more stealthy. Because, yeah, it was probably a bit of a dumb idea to keep our backs to a, a glass door. With the perfect... Time. Okay, the guy must like his dog bites. <laughs> and here I say I don't support executions and we witness one here, right? With a dog. Or... Never mind, he did not get executed. The fighter Never doesn't mind. seem to care. Never mind. He got killed again. Oh, and now uh, we're stuck in it. <laughs> Here with the dog. Okay. Overseer Chant. Restrict an errant mind before it becomes fractious and divided. Can two enemies occupy the same body? No, for the first. Actually, I think we've seen that bung before. Or maybe it added as, as it notes, I'm guessing not. No, no, for the first world directed one way and the second another until they stumble into a ditch. Likewise, two contrary thoughts cannot long abide in the man's mind or he will become weak-willed. Okay, that was... Pardon on that. Okay, uh, Two contrary thoughts cannot long abide in the man's mind or he will become weak-willed and subject to any heresy. Restrict the lying tongue yeah, that, it, it, that is like a spark in a man's mouth. Is such a little thing, yet from one spark an entire city can may burn to the ground. The father of a lie will suffer a punishment compounded by each person related it. Restrict roving feet that uh, love to trespass. They pay no heed to the boundary stones of, of other men's fields. They wander into foreign lands only to return with their souls blackened by iniquity. If that's how you... Hmm. Not sure I've seen that one. I'm, I'm pretty sure I that's, that yeah, that's the, I, the, it's the strictures basically. I think uh, the final word I heard many times, but it's sort of word I don't think many know what it means nowadays. And, well, it's a word that's so extremely rarely used. Okay, we could knock out the dog, but we are low on sleep darts, so. Instead, let's see if we can sneak around down here. Okay, there's one. Oh, there's one directly below us. Okay, is this open? Yes, it is. So we can just do that. Do this. I'll write to her again. She has to see reason. Actually. Is there any way we can get to some sort of back? Because now we're back at the, the torturous place. Oh, hello there. I'll just leave you to that. Is there no way up here? Okay, th then I have no idea where that bone charm can be, because it seems to be out of bounds of where we can go. Because there's nothing back here. Unless it's up in the room where he would fled earlier. Actually, it, yeah, it could be. It could be pointing to the uh, Let's just see what happens if the I upper level that we didn't, guy. that where we took a look earlier. <coughs> What's in that glass case? Some sort of Faberge egg. Let's see. Is that new? Yes, it is new. The Isle of Tivia, excerpt from a uh, volume of Tivian Geography and Culture. More most among the Isles, Tivia is dominated by snarling mountain ranges that rise up from frozen plains. Travel between cities involves arduous treks through territory thickly infested with terrible bears and packs of hounds adopted, yeah, adapted to the climates. Despite these conditions, Tivian art, architecture, food and fashion are ornate and complex. Marked by an intimate, intricate refinement that perhaps arose as a counterpoint to the cold, harsh land itself. While people in the lower city of Caltain uh, share much with their nearest neighbors in Morley, most Tivians are a breed apart, shaped by the generations of life in the inhospit <coughs> inhospitable cold. 
Austere and regal, Tivians are proud of their customs, food and history, and have little concern for the Isles to the south. Okay. She has to see reason. We've already read that one. Now then. Let's just see what happens if I get another crack at this guy. Yeah, I, <laughs> I think something much different would happen than what he expects, but yeah, actually. You think you're being quiet? Will that let's send it? <laughs> okay, apparently he doesn't care much for us accidentally smashing in a glass case. Okay, now I hear you. Look out. We got someone skulking around. But yeah, that is generally how you could get someone to move out of your way without using powers. Oop. Someone there. Okay, where is this guy going? We, we could just we could just run and gun it for the exit but I'd rather not <laughs> come to Samuel with a, a horde of guards on my ass yeah uh, you may end up being forced to kill someone which we I want to avoid we want to avoid that yeah so we're just heading for the exit val uh, vent over there as we skulk around <laughs> in the rafters. Okay, this is where this end and yeah, this part ends. It's good that these parts are <laughs> shadowed enough for us to easily traverse without getting spotted easily. Let's see, this one. There we go. Well, we have missed a bunch of the... Uh, we have missed a good part of this level, but... Yeah, we've been around here long enough. So the only objective now is to just get from A to B and get out of here. I... <laughs> I, for a moment, I thought that uh, pressing right click would cancel the blink, but no. <laughs> well, yeah. We have an easy way out. And yeah, that'll be the first half of our revenge done. <laughs> because we still have Dowd and the assassins to go after. Is it all done? You ready to go back to the Hound Pits? Thanks to you, Corvo. All right, let's go. Now what? Are, is this the last episode we make on this game? And uh, no, it's not because, like I said, we still have to go after the assassins. Yeah, wait. We killed someone. Um, maybe the dog? We sh I, I did shoot at it with the, the pistol, but uh, there was also, uh, <laughs> during the scramble in the uh, overseer chamber, uh, I did accidentally land on two of them, I think, though yeah, dead or unconscious bodies found. Uh, I, yeah, I, I landed on two of them. It could have been that one of them died, but wouldn't the corpses remain there unless they cleaned it up the the corpse? Hmm. I'm not actually sure yeah. if... Uh, yeah, I've, I've not actually played this game for as far and wide as you can play it. So maybe if they do find a corpse, they'll, well, go deal with it somewhere. Hmm. Yeah, at least the chaos is low. Yeah, and that's the only thing we're really going for. So let's continue. Coronation Eve. The Lord Regent has been defeated and the reign of Emily Caldwin is now, Caldwin is now assured. All that remains is to see her safely escorted to Dunwall Tower, 
where she will assume her position on the throne. Big changes. Makes me uneasy, to tell the truth. A small fry like me always gets the worst of it. But maybe it's going to be different now. Lord Regent is gone. The Abbey has a new high overseer. I'm guessing our work is almost done. The others are in the bar. No doubt waiting to raise a glass in your name. Me, I think I'll just linger out here, if you don't mind. Reflect on things while we have a moment. Congratulations, Corvo. Yeah, something that isn't really uh, spoken of is that well, we we have regained some of our honor because with the with the confession, it basically clears up uh, clears Corvo's name as well. Oh, hello. Corvo. Everyone says you did something good tonight. <laughs> Someone's eager. Damn me, he's done it. Word is spreading all over the city. The tyranny is over. By this time tomorrow, Emily will be on the throne. After that, we'll clear your name and put everything we've got into rebuilding the city. I wish there were more of a city to rule. Most of Dunwall is rats. And corpses. The Admiral's right, I'm afraid. Corvo, you did your job while the rest of us sat on our asses. Our work starts tomorrow. Tonight, rest easy. Tomorrow, we crown an empress. To Corvo, the man who served to change the course of history. To Emily Corvo, and the new dawn rising for Dunwall and the Empire. You'll need higher mathematics, court protocol, and cosmology, of course. Do you provide these things? Say, they are honest. They did admit they were sitting on their orders test for the most of the time. Yeah. It's true, she does, but she should trust all of us. Don't you trust me, Callista? Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Gotta get the beds in order. Big toast! No one got poisoned, but now I wonder, did you get poisoned? Hello, Corvo. The Pendletons owe you a debt. Yeah, more the Pendletons who remain for the Pendleton. You are an impressive man, Corvo. I hope they give you the credit you deserve. And again, we have been hanging around rats a long ass time. Or is this we'll another side effect of the outsider? I don't want to go back to the tower. I can be impressed from anywhere, right? Maybe a ship. <laughs> yes, he doesn't seem to be too interested in all of this. Do you know Emily is quite special? She learned from all of us, you especially. She trusts you absolutely, I believe. We took control of the Abbey through blackmail. But perhaps over time we can wield a more legitimate authority. Okay, I so really that. must get a wife. Still a few boils left, I suppose. Now, which was the prudish one again? <laughs> okay, playboy, keep it in I your pants. I must remember to burn that memoir. You speak less and do more than any man I have known. I swear I'll help you find the murderer who struck down the Empress. Your life will be changed. I'm over Very here, soon. Pendleton. Emily's first act will be to rescind the warrant for your arrest. We can finally take that mask off you. Let's see, then there's one the left. Is losing her faith, I fear. I must speak to her about that. Hmm. Do you think Piero will ever want to marry? I mean, hypothetically. You talk to him more than I do. I forget who it was that he was spying on. Was it Cecilia or her? I, I think it was her. Hmm. Well, better that uh, she be interested in him than her because uh, yeah, if she'd find out, she'd hang him by his balls. 
No, 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 Ian, no. Don't. That's the last image you want to see. Do you need me to put something together for you? Maybe a young aid? Okay. What? <laughs> let's see, that's all re really needed. And uh, yeah, let's uh, let's get Corvo to uh, yeah sleep over this hangover that must be coming. Seems easy. What? <laughs> the hair is gross. <laughs> what is going on? Is that the bones or something else? Yeah, maybe Corvo is a lightweight. Then again, we have been able to steal drinks here and there. Yeah, though. But I've never been drunk. But I don't ever heard anyone tell me that you're drunk, you hear whistling sound. Samuel, you move like you've been drinking. Did the poison work its magic? Is he dead? It better have worked. It cost me a month's profit. Yes, sir. I believe Corvo has breathed his last. Just as you wanted. You've done a fine job. Remember, we need the body. If we come forward with the corpse of the man who murdered the Empress, we'll be greeted as heroes. Yes, it'll grant us legitimacy. We'll be the men who rescued Emily and brought down the Lord Regent and his assassin. You'll see to the body, won't you, Samuel? Yes, sir. What? I'm sorry something terrible, Corvo, but I only gave you half the poison. They were watching me and it was all I could think to do. I think you're strong enough to survive that. I'll put you on a raft, and then I've got to ship out myself before they find out I've gone against their wishes. Snakes. They'll want to do the same to me as soon as I've outlived my uses. Hopefully, you'll wake up and find your way out of this cursed city. when she died. Poison. Tibian stuff. Amateur work. He'll live. That's up to doubt. to you when you visit his shrines. I visited those shrines too. And I know what it felt like to shovel blade into your empress. But I don't know you, who you are, and who you fight for. They're a mystery, and I can't allow that.
Yep. We've been fucked over again. Yeah, but so did we just get dishonored again? And now we're back here. Yep, this game will keep going for a bit more. Here you are at last, in a ruined and drowning world, held captive by the man who killed your empress, the assassin Dowd. Your friends poisoned you and dumped your body in the river. Did they do it to protect themselves, so no one would ever know what they'd done? Or was it because they were a single move away from controlling an empire, and they knew you'd never let them manipulate Emily? Maybe none of these. Perhaps that's just the nature of man. That's a weird rat. And yeah, here we are. Though I'm pretty sure... Let's see. We could break it with that. Or, since we've got this, oh. we can finally use it. Oh, yes. And get the hell out <laughs> through the pipes. I thought those bricks were bread. <laughs> That's some very, very hard bread, then. Well, bread can go stay, but I wonder if they threw into a pit with bread to lure up the rats, but no, was not the case. But something swim in the water. Yep. There are some freaking hagfish there. Uh, yeah, now we need to get away from Dowd. Let's see. Wanted for the abduction of Anton Sokolov, the, uh, an unknown assailant, enemy of the city of Dunwall. The offenses of this man are high crimes under the law of the city watch of Dunwall and the edicts of our brave Lord Regent in these times of peril. And because we weren't spotted a lot, we, they don't have a picture of us. Hmm. Let's take those Wait. and let's get ourselves a knife. Yeah, a uh, best friend! Yeah. Corvo's bounty note. Doubt. Finding Corvo in possession of that mask could have been an elaborate frame job. But now the newly minted Lord Regent Havelock is announcing to all the city that he has proof linking Corvo to the Masked Felon. The bounty is 30,000 coins, but if Corvo truly is the Masked Felon and is responsible for all the things the wanted posters accuse him of, I expect the bounty to double. Because we have him alive, we should be able to barter for even more. Regarding Slackjaw, we watched him for a week, and when we were ready to make our move, he suddenly disappeared. Maybe he left the city. Wolfio. Okay, so Slackjaw Slack wised up. And yeah, now we've replaced one jackass with another. Let's yep. See. Bounty Lodger, Kujinger, a Kronigan, Limited, 1500, Sellard, Elizabeth, Adducted, Delivered, 2000, Booth, Eliminated, have Payment Refused, uh, Employer Eliminated. Okay. Unknown mask man related uh, revealed to be Corvo. Slack job location unknown. Corvo in custody to be delivered al delivered alive. How long have we been out? Um, um, good question. Um, something I noticed she said earlier there. Mm -hmm. Deep ones. Yeah. I'm guessing that must mean the whales. Yeah, either the whales or something else. Letter to Says Overseer deep. Franklin. Mm -hmm. One. Uh, yeah, you can finish up first. Yeah, I would say deep ones is also the common term for fish people. Yeah, but if there were fish, people would probably have heard of it. So I'm thinking it's more the whales. True, but it is very Lovecraftian, so who knows? 
Let's see. Overseer Franklin, wasn't it? Uh, when we speak next, I hope uh, you can tell me two things. First, what do the strictures tell you about being imprisoned in a cell you could easily escape with your legs not shattered? Secondly, how your uh, kind knew the location of our base and what exactly you hope to accomplish there by marching a hopelessly outnumbered band of fools through chest high water. Doubt. Okay. He does have a point. <laughs> It's when the sea all broke, many strange things were drowned and forgotten. You need to work on your peripheral vision. Did you and I need to remember that which attack does what. Yeah, what the heck? His feet is through the bones? Oh dear. And yeah, she, she just made. Mook inclination there could be fishmen here. Between but she... poisoned by Havelock, Martin and Pendleton, you've awoke, awakened in the ruins of the flooded district where the assassin Doubt has you under guard. Cover your gear, confront Doubt, and find a way out of the flooded district. Yeah, this is where the people were quarantined to. And well, since we already got that path. Yeah. Right after saying, she said that there are now. See, got broken through. Many things were drowned and forgotten. So, hmm. what else has been forgotten? Okay, is there anything? I think you start out with. Oh, yeah, that was a bit faster. <laughs> I think you. I need to hmm? check back, but I think you automatically get blink no matter what, so... Yeah, I don't really see how you would get out without anything other than blink or possession there. What the heck? I told you, of course I can blink automatically! I mean, blink is as I was born! The teleport ability. <laughs> Report the doubt. This is the musical device that the overseer had strapped to his chest. While it was functioning, we were unable to perform transversals or tetherings. I suggest uh, at we all get a look, a good look at it. Yeah, it's one of these things again. Uh, yeah, let's. This time, let's not get stabbed by a standard assassin. I heard the other. What? Oh, hello. Yeah, I, I should have looked if there was a second one. Let me. Ooh, oh, you are. Okay, they. <laughs> they really come charging at you. Yeah, I should have looked if there was a second one. Ugh. <laughs> uh. Okay, here we go again. Miss. Okay, beat up, get the blades. Get the notes. Okay, this time, here we go. Yep, there's number two. Don't have our pistols or our crossbow. Let's see. Oh, you are just standing straight right there. Now it's no wonder he noticed us. Okay. If this happens quick enough. Oh, hello. I don't know what happened there. Did, did he manage to. Maybe the other one turned around and interrupted us somehow. Hmm. I think you put through your uh, your gravel. Anyways, whilst well, they're wasting their time over there, let's get out of this. Okay, and luckily enough, somehow we know that our gear is all the way over there. So let's go grab that. 
That's why you didn't torch him. Yeah, I said we didn't have a pistol or a crossbow. Oh, oh. Stupid river crossed. Uh, yeah, this place has been turned into a bit of a playground. Achievement unlocked the escapist. And what achievement is that then? After Coldridge Prison, elude five pursuers at once without killing them or leaving the map. Huh? Okay. I probably should have been able to get that a lot <laughs> sooner. Let's get that pistol. Why does a why does an overseer have crossbow bolts or a, oh? There are crossbow bolts that are stuck in them. <laughs> yeah, that explains why they have those. Hmm. Yeah, like someone these. gave them them in rather harsh manner. Yeah. Okay, a bunch of hackfish here, which will make swimming a bit dangerous. Unless... Let's see if we can feed the fish. Wait, did that bounce on the water? Okay. Uh, why was there a big splash? Because we, we threw a grenade in the water. Oh. You, uh, Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> well, that works with clearing those things out as well. <laughs> Someone got a look at us? Rat? Wait, oh, that's leaking. That's leaking whale oil here. Wait, wait, what? Explosive bottle. Okay. Oh, yeah, it's a weeper. Yeah, of course. Yeah, the sick were quarantined to the flooded district, so it makes sense that they are here. And Why is our gear in the middle of a bunch of these guys? Yeah. Let's see then. Some more food. And a, a brick. <laughs> the moment I no. thought I woke him up, but no, he's already dead. Oh, oh, there's our gear. Hmm. I don't recall much of any of this. The river crosses. A bunch of empty oil barrels. Hmm. Green light. I'm not sure if I've ever done this before. Hmm. Or my memory is just failing me as usual. The factory's name is upon. Let's see, is that a ladder? I can... There's a bone charm there. I'm not there. I think the factory's name, Grease Lightning, is a reference to Grease Lightning. Good chance. And apparently there was a really small ledge. And not a small platform like I was thinking. Well, I'm not surprised. Do I have to say, I don't know what Grease Lightning is. Yeah, it's just... It's a bit of a figure of speech, I think, that it's... 
Yeah, it's like lightning, but even faster. Okay. There's another kind of lightning I also know of. Thanks to Yaksepticai. And that's pink lightning. Okay. I know it's there's all lightning. Well, pink lightning is basically someone riding a pink tricycle. Okay. Yeah, it was one of those like, crash test dummy games if I was playing for a while. I forgot what its name was, but it was popular for a while. Yeah, turbo dismount. That's the one. Oh, there's something there. Oh, Do I need this would really help a lot. Wait, wait, what? Stair control. But it's out of power. Of course it is. I'm guessing this one is empty. Yep. Oh, it's not empty of tanks, but it is still empty of oil. Any of these have stuff? Actually, yes. I was not expecting to be any of that in here. Hmm. Okay. There we go. Open that up. Okay, a bit odd to have big-ass pipes like that to block it, but oh well. Let's see, refinery safety notice. Remember to keep the stair in the up position in all, at all times unless there is a shift change or an emergency. Fail to do so may result in damage to equipment and or loss of life. In the event of an actual emergency, main power will, will be shut off. Use the backup receptacle to your right to restore power to this control panel. Okay, that has been here quite a while. Alright, that may explain why there was pipes and stairs there. Yeah, they look like stairs to me, but it looked more like they were needed to be climbed, and well, that, this all explains why. Hmm. Though, you'd want emergency stairs to be out at all times, not to be needing a switch to throw that off, to throw and grab, then it, it becoming available might be that they had to do it too, too. that's the only good way to escape from. Let's see, spirited one. Hmm. Not too useful. Actually, bone charms. Slightly, yeah, we'll, we'll We'll probably want to get as much mana as we can from our well, mana potions. Let's see. That's more health playing out. Okay. Let's see. Hmm. Oh, and there's, there's a rune all the way down there. Already heard that one. Yeah, that does that does say that the whales are magic in this reality. Hard to say, but we should watch the streets. We'll see them from the rooftops. Alright. If nothing else, we can cut them off at the market. We can't get through the rail station without the key. This one is resourceful. We'll find a way. Yeah, like uh, he'll listen in on you idiots talking about this key that he needs. <laughs> And they piss off. Makes it all the easier for us. See a tank with oil still in it. And where exactly is our stuff? It's oh well, we can at least take all of their stuff as well. I'm hunting whales. Yeah, da, 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 da. 
These new ships made by that Sokolov fellow make, make life easier than it was in my youth. I'll tell you what. There was, we were at the mercy of the winds. Nowadays, the engines get up at first whale sign and there ain't time and now to rouse the boys from in their bunks before they're on the, on the herd. <clears throat> before you're on the herd. We call, uh, we call out the biggest bastard that we can lay eyes on and the pilots uh, dra uh, drag us out from the circling brutes. Uh, them things groan and bellow across the water like they're uh, calling to each other. Men below say you can feel it in the hull. But when the harpoons go in, the beast cannot make for deep water no more. Once it weeks from lost blood, we launch the, the hook boat and put chains into the tail. Then the winches drag the bastard backward up the chute and into the rain overhead. Hmm. So Sokolov is part of the problem with the whales being hunted to extinction as well. Yeah. Some of Again, like the, the Indian hunters, when they hunted for... In the beginning, they hunted whales for meat, but then they were looking them for night lamps and all that. Then they basically hunted for the barrels of whale oil, and a lot of whale meat went to waste, just dumped by the ocean. Yeah. Let's and see. yeah, that, that overhunting was extreme, for, since there was no longer hunt for food, it was just for the oil. I'm pretty uh, sure whales are still in danger to this day. Yeah, because of that. Okay, the Greaves Whale House, excerpt from a book on well-established companies in Dunwall. In the early days when the ship wrought in the great dead whales, men would slaughter them and reduce their blubber to oil in massive vats on the banks of the Renhaven. Small crews maintained their own vats with workers specializing in aspire, specializing as fire tenders, slicers, gutmen, haulers, or strainers. Inevitably, once the demand went up, the businessmen moved in, wooing the best crews with prom promises of better pay and safer conditions. The warehouses went up at the edges of the Rutshore Financial District almost overnight. None was more organized, or as some would say more ruthless, than the Greaves Whale House, opened by Ebenezer Greaves himself. The Greaves Whale House grew rapidly, absorbing rivals until it dominated the trade. At its peak, the operation employed over 300 workers, not including the children who filled minor and often tragic roles. Those associated with the refinery were recognized by their head toe, industrial leather uniforms, and the masks they wore to protect against fumes. Now, that sounds familiar, doesn't it? Yep. So Doubt's crew are whalers, or at least they're using the outfits of whalers. Yep, and also, here's something about whales. The, re the, the old thing that saved whales from up to extinction, from uh, being continuously hunted for oil, I think was due to where they actually found oil on the ground. So, I'm not yeah. sure really what in reality whale oil was used for. In reality, it, whale oil was used for lights. Ah, okay. Like, you, if you've seen um, old movies uh, from that century with all the street lights, those were made of whale oils along with oil lamps. Like, everything they wanted to do with light, whale oil. Okay, so in this world, basically, uh, we're still at that point. Yes. Only, yeah, more technologically advanced, quote unquote. Yeah, they're more used to put it. And this, this whale oil is also special. This is not normal whale oil. Yeah. You gotta wonder what. Oh. Wait. Are you normal? I'm gonna wonder what happened to this place if it was the, the top dog or the, the top shark in the business. Already seen that. Oh, no, that's a weeper. That's very much a weeper. That's our way out and to that room over there. Hmm. 
Yeah, again, makes you wonder what the hell happened for this place to go down. And I'm kind of curious if it was the plague that did it. Hmm. Now we can just drop down, grab our stuff and get the hell out. And they don't even care. And that one was a guard. Oh, uh, hello, and goodbye. Is he also value here? Not really, but there's that. Beyond that, just get out. Okay. Was there no room here? Yep, over here. There's five in this level, okay. Okay, just pluck these things. Oh, you're still alive. That can be remedied. What? No! No! What? Okay. There's not really too much of a need for cash anymore since, well, uh, we've been kind of stabbed in the back and without access to shops at the moment. But, oh well. Better to have it than not. For now, we can go back to Dowd and see about kicking his ass. And again, I mistook the... the the other button for the cancel button. Maybe one day I'll go I'll do a playthrough with this game without any magic powers, maybe except maybe blink and uh, hello. Or another one of the idiots who thought you could take on magic assassins. Let's see. Overseer's warning. The assassins sprung their trap as we tried to cross the narrow bridge. At that choke point, they were able to pick us off one by one. We thought we could draw them inside where our radar numbers could make uh, more of a difference, but it didn't matter. Now I'm the only one left alive, and I'm feeling that slipping for me minute by minute. Please, if a second group attempts to come through this, uh, through this way, beware of that bridge. They are listening for the sound of the door opening. Keep an eye on the rooftops. Even a small number of them is more than a match. Yeah, that's something they found out the hard way. And is it this door that they're listening for then? Hmm. Let's see. If it is, then we can just turn back quick. Phew. <laughs> we missed the head. We missed the rats and we sliced the corpse. Okay. Yeah, they got slaughtered. And there's river cross here somewhere. Or wherever they were, they no, missed no. them. <laughs> I missed them. Yeah, it's probably this door that they were listening for. Hmm. So let's see if we can get over it another way then. That didn't do us many much good. I probably could have just jumped that. Hmm. I'm not sure if we could have encountered more assassins if we'd done that, but oh. Probably best not to risk it. Okay, what are you doing? Just sitting there? Okay, where's your friends? So one of them go up there. Hmm. I heard one of them jump. 
Slaves route, man. Okay. Rail station key. Hmm. Yeah, there he is. These guys are obviously going to be a much bigger threat than any normal guard. Yeah, they're basically a similar tactic as you. It sort of means that we need to think like uh, an assassin hunter. Is that a thing? Probably in different words. He's quite stupid for thinning his back like that. Or unless he is trying to bait us out. Okay, can we choke you guys out? Yes, we can, as long as we're not interrupted. And the third down there. Mm, it is just a charm. I do wonder if killing these guys would have as much as an effect on the chaos meter as a... Uh, Cards, since well, these are these people probably wouldn't really help keep things unchaotic. So let's not uh, test that theory. Yeah. Let's see. Can we? How far? Mm. Yeah. Let's skip that. We've taken long enough with some things in this game. When the seam all broke, many strange things were and forgotten. They bring the bodies here with rough hands, rough hands in cages. Some of them are still breathing. The water is so cold, and it's the last thing they feel. Yeah, not a nice place at the slightest. These waters are greedy. They will never give back what they have taken. <clears throat> Pardon me again. Apparently the soup isn't sitting too well with me, and the heck is this? Is sort of rail cart? No. Yes, it is. <laughs> it's a... That's a very tiny cockpit. Or moving somewhere for, well it is only supposed to be one person driving this I assume to get it from A to B so it's uh, really sufficient and very well armored in case this thing were to derail yeah weapon courier's message Corwin imagine the firepower of a tall boy but the speed and ease of the uh, consumment of a pistol with this new technology any soldier with a steady gun arm will be a uh, force to be reckoned with Make sure it gets to the Lord Regent without delay. Loxley. Well, it certainly got delayed. Small scale combustion refinement. New upgrade available at Pierrot's. Which does mean that we are getting back there. Or to him at least. Soon enough. Or eventually. Open it means we get the, uh, something nice and new. Well, explosive bullets from the very sound of it. That will be nice. Uh, oh, dear. Might not be the best idea to approach this place from the front. Especially when there's a watchman. Who is apparently... We should probably clear up the... <laughs> the goggles of his mask. If, oh, if he couldn't see us there. That was a bit short. He heard you. Yeah, he heard he heard us kill the rats. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Where did you learn? Yeah, one one of them actually comes and finds us. <laughs> Which this one is too lazy for it seems. Is he just staring at right at you? Yeah, he was, but he didn't spot us until we got to the corner there. And, uh, hello. 
Okay. Info. One there, one there. Somehow none here. Some dog here. And that alerted another dog, but is it alerting anyone else? Not enough, <laughs> apparently. Let's see. Excerpt an assassin's log. The four hounds we rescued from the overseers are making great progress. I'm confident that uh, with continued care and proper feeding, the training that they received at the hands of the zealots will fade and they'll begin to behave more li to our liking. Okay. So at the very least, they like dogs. Wait, then we have... Oh, wait, it's... it's Corvo's weaponry is of great quality. If Dowd will not use it himself, why don't we simply cast lots for it? What I do not understand is why you're voicing your complaints to me and not to Dowd himself. Well, they'll have to take it off our cold hands if they want to use it now. But yeah, I was clicking the old uh, shortcut for the uh, sleeve bolts. It Which, well, since we picked up a pistol, it's kind of messed things up a bit. Okay. It's another small case of a shadow being visible through a platform. Oh, okay. He almost spotted us. Yeah, it's nice. Let's see, a charm over there. In the room down there. And I probably really should use the freaking sleep darts more. And it probably wasn't needed, but oh well. Take you out. Let's not let oh, you wow. drop down into the water. Alternate entrances. Hmm. Yeah, they are smart in keeping only a few entryways to their hideouts. Alright, now my, now my nose is starting to itch. Can I bring forth this chainsaw again to scratch your nose? I have a job tonight. What's the delay? I am gatebound, not riverbound. And Dowd holds the key to the tunnel and is asked not to be disturbed. Is that it? Correct. This prisoner we took. The bodyguard who was with the Empress seems to trouble him gravely. Yes. I feel that we've reached a turning point tonight. Yes. Good luck on your assignment when you are permitted to leave. Okay. How do they even breathe through that thing? Get the question. Okay, we don't make any we don't make any noise anymore, even when walking upright like this, or at least on carpets. We don't make any noise at all. We have something to throw to distract him, or at least lure him away from the wall so we can grab him. A coin? Extra sleep darts. Doubt's key needed. What the heck is that? It doesn't look like a rune. It looks like a watch. Now, there is one way to get someone's attention as well. <laughs> I didn't have it used for your accidental whacking. Yeah. Well, that worked as well. <laughs> I 
And that's it. <laughs> I'm not sure if that happened by act if it was just well timed or not. For your next trial, you must be one soon. Stay in shadow and avoid the light. Cross to the other side of the room without attracting notice. Seen an ogre stealthier than him. Very good. I did not see you approach. Now, attempt a transversal. Do not focus on your destination with your eyes. That is folly and will limit the potential of the power. You know the layout of the room. Instead, focus on where you wish to be standing, and it will be so. Excellent. We have no more to teach you for now. Return to your place of rest. Your real work with us begins tomorrow night. Well, he got that under control quickly enough that he managed to teleport all the way to his bedroom. And now the master is the one being taught. Let's go. I'll take those and those. Yeah, th there's always something uh, just fun about being a kleptomaniac in games, huh? Just get your hands on whatever you can. Yeah, but in that case, it's more of, you know, know if you need it or not. Can I grab you? Nope. Now I certainly can. <laughs> it's almost like you volunteered. Wait. Let's inspect him. Does he have wear a volunteer shirt? <laughs> if he does, it's underneath all of that leather. Yeah, they probably wouldn't stand out in a crowd of, at a BDSM convention. Oh! Hmm? Now I get what you mean. Oh dear God! And yeah, the lethal and non-lethal options appeared there. Basically kill him or send a message, pickpocket him and leave him be. And yeah, we know what we'll be going for. Just hope the jackass doesn't have any special detection powers. So. But now, well, that's sort of sort of counts like a detection power. So we're gonna see his pants, correct? Yep. <laughs> Wait, what? Riddance to you, sir. So many schemes you had, and so many contracts. How many people did I kill for you? And unlike the last, unlike her, I'd give back all the coin if I could. No one should have to kill an empress. Hmm. Sounds like he's not certain about that job anymore. But yeah, we'll need to take him out first. So this is a but bit of an open pathway. I think it's more of he understands that assassinating a leader can have some severe consequences. Yeah. Either be a hero or you'll be very condemned villain. And we know what side Dowd is likely on at the moment. On the historical yeah, spectrum I, of that. 
I suspect this Empress was very well like it. Yeah, from all we have heard, that seems to be the case. Hmm. Yeah, that guy is being a bit of an, a pain. It's like he's bodyguarding his boss. Oh. I heard someone move. And we need his key for that. Hmm. That... Are we almost already out of time? Yeah. Let's see. And we'll here I brought out some candy. After. I ate some candy I thought, eh, I can have some candy for separation of the end of this, but nope. I brought this separation candy for too early. Maybe if we knock him out, then Dowd won't see the body or something. Actually, we could probably tell a not like fuck again I confused the freaking cancel key with the melee key. <laughs> yeah. But wait, only his body got reacted? Looks like it. And uh, see any of these windows that we can get through. So if we can teleport in behind him, then he can we can probably grab him and pull him away. I just hope we don't end up somehow Marvioing this guy as well. Okay, now we're in place to take him. Just need to wait for Doubt to be looking away. And I'm not going to risk it that he turns and sees us. It, like how this guy just caught a glimpse of our boot or something and... Okay. Oh, well... Hi! How you doing? How's the wife? deal with you because if we put this guy down he's likely going to here small risk yeah yeah that that totally would have alerted the other guy there okay hmm. technically we'd, we could probably try to knock him out as well be done with it. Hmm. Well, yeah, let's just prove who's the better assassin here. To open on that side. On the Jal Galvani weave. Okay, don't know what that is. But we do know that we have two boxes this way that we can unlock now. And I am really curious what the hell was in that one. It looked like yeah, it looked like a watch of some sort. And like a stopwatch or pocket watch. And he's back over there. So let's just knock him the fuck out. <laughs> yeah, I think we just perfectly timed it with uh, knocking on the wall and him moving around. Okay, so this is just coin. And this is Innsmouth Pocket Watch. Okay. Just loot, but oh well then. Let's is it see. an inch or an ink? Yeah, inch. Or inch. Yeah, it very obviously is a reference to Innsmouth from Cthulhu. Yep. 
Hence why I keep feeling like we probably be see fishmen or something. What do we do with the uh, game? To what? my knowledge, there aren't. But my memory has been wrong. Yeah, but well, how you played all the games? Yeah, I haven't played the sequel, but I have played through the entirety of this, and I've at least seen someone play through the expansion. And now that I think about it, we should probably add that in as well on this. That after we're done with this game, we go for the DLC. Do I, I'm not sure if I own it. I'll just have to buy it extra if it is. Over here. Let's see. Dodge log, the latest log entry. 18 years on this wretched rock and in, in this city of filth, I felt uh, the blood of scholars, of noble pedophiles, of guildsmen, of unfaithful lovers, of politicians who were just too far... Uh, too f were far too just for their own good and of law enforcers who came too close to bringing the wrong man to justice why should an empress be any different uh, why should i feel the weight of uh, the entire weight of this dying city crushing down on my back corvo lord protector is of Circonus, just as i once was i might have known that fact already but it didn't matter until i recognized it in his face it brought back distant memories of home and then the opportunity optimistic young man I once was. What would I find if I went back there? Would I find that it has rotted from the inside, uh, just like in Gdonwall, or will it only appear that way because I'm the one who's rotted? Hmm. Surprisingly insightful. Let's see. The Royal Protector. I th we should have seen that one before. But still, it gives us here. Uh, that, um... Okay. Throughout the ages, rulers have always you know, faced attempts on their life. Once in a generation, the empire is rocked by the death of a powerful political or religious figure. As such, city states across the Isles have devised varying strategies for protecting their leaders. In the capital of Dunwall, each new emperor is allowed to appoint a royal protector. This is far more than a thrusted bodyguard, so much uh, more revered than the hand-chosen guards defending Dunwall Tower or the food tasters. The royal uh, protector is a court figure, given an enormous latitude, who keeps constant company with the highest ruler in the known world. At the age of 12, the young monarch participates in the selection process, making the final decision about who will safeguard his or her life. While most of those chosen as royal protector have been men, several times throughout history a woman has served well in the role. For the first time in Dunwall's history, a monarch has been slain by her own bodyguard. At the time of this writing, with Dunwall in the grip of the worst plague ever recorded, our fair Empress Jessamine Caldwell um, uh, has just been murdered. The deed is done by her former royal protector turned assassin, Corvo Atano, who is still sitting in Coldridge prison awaiting his, well, his, yeah, his deserved execution. Some argue that it, this, that it is worth noting that Corvo Ortano is the first royal protector in the history of the Empire, born outside the Isle of Crystal. Okay. But yeah, that's, uh, that says that Corvo has been with the Empress for a long ass time. Yep. Yeah. The Lighthouse, excerpt from a recent historical work on King Sparrow Island. Kingsborough Island sits in the middle of the Renhaven River, and up uh, through the previous century, it was only used by fishermen and for occasional religious ceremonies. During the time of the Morley insurrection, a fort and naval dock were added to the island as a means of protecting the city from attacks by sea. In the time of the Rat Plague Crisis, shortly after the tragic death of Empress Jessamine Caldwin, Dunwell's acting regent Hiram, Hiram Burroughs commissioned the construction of a modernized military installation and lighthouse on the island. Burroughs Lighthouse, only recently completed, is widely considered to be one of the marvels of the modern age, humming with Sokolov's technologies powered by Process Wylol. Okay. And I think this one is new as well. Yep, it's another note, so it's new. Then, yeah, let's finish this one off, and then next time we'll continue on from here. All right. The Rudshore Chamber of Commerce, excerpt from a book covering the various districts across Dunwall and their histories. 
Once the financial heart of the empire, the, the Rajshur financial district was a high of trade activity. No district employed more barristers, accountants, or indeed more security, and no part of Dunwall saw a greater flow of coin. The flood barriers broke and the waters rolled in, the looting that followed was accompanied by an epic period of chaos and butchery. Those who could withdraw and, yeah, withdraw and move their assets did what they could. Others, with their wealth tied up in grand mansions and artwork, lost it all. And the last of the high society set had, had withdrawn, and the lights went dark. Rutscher was a gloomy, crumbling shell of what it had been, inhabited by thieves, wild dogs, and rats. Once great palaces of commerce sat empty and haunted, and came to house killers and mercenaries, as well as anyone else looking to hide from the city watch. In mere months, the flooded district was settled upon as the most proper name for the place. Well, that explains a lot as well. Basically, not only... Well, it's, it could have been expected, but... Uh, yeah, it seems like it's next to just a, a plague, uh, there's also just a, yeah, <laughs> a complete economic collapse. Hmm. Bloody heck. And Explains why there, is, there are ruins in the damn city. Yeah. Like, and in most cities, they would pro probably not allow this to happen. They would probably try and, and do repairs. Uh, yeah, when oh. everything is set on its ass. Yeah. And yeah, I think the marker and... is a bit off. Oh, I think. Oh, I won't be surprised if the Lord Regent just made things worse, but we know he, did, he made things worse. Yeah. Like he was too much of an asshole and then became too much of a paranoid asshole to care much if anything. And well, yeah. the whole reason he brought in the rats was to basically commit a class murder on everyone quote unquote poor. Yeah, I, also, I think I just realized why he made try to take all the way away for himself. And that being? Well, due, due to his paranoia, he wanted as much power to fuel the damn security system. Yeah. And I, I thought it was pointing this way to that tunnel entrance, but I'm guessing that was wrong, or maybe it's a bit glitched. Hmm. Oh, it's over there, okay. And this might be a quick enough little... Oh, yeah. Yes. Maybe this is the end of the level, we'll see. We, we can continue for a few extra minutes. As a bit of a makeup for the fact that the stream was late, a bit late. Well, oh, yeah. it's only five minutes, but still, but now ten minutes late. Yeah, I almost forgot that. Hmm. Gatewell Tunnel. Let's see, where is all of this going? Yep, target spared. More so for to, to make a point. Like, I could take your life at any time you'd want, and those same <laughs> those rats could do the same. So let's try to avoid them. Yeah, at least he seemed to be more regretful over what he did. Yeah, and we know where his hideout is, so... He doesn't have much places to run. Oh. Wait, are, are those ribs or are those... I... Oh. Oh, come on, you motherfuckers. They, li they literally just dumped them in. And... Yeah. Are these... Things? These might be way boys. Boys? A bone? Wait. They look a bit too Isn't metal right? to be bones. Yeah, they round people up because there's a cure. They just been shaped up to look like damn ribs. They're supposed to protect people. They did. They protect the healthy people from people like us, the sick ones. I'm not uh, that bad. 
Some people pull through, right? <coughs> Don't they? One in a thousand. Ten thousand, probably. Any chance, I'll take. What when I get out of there <coughs> and get better, I'm going to do right this time. A fresh start. This time. Uh, Hey, don't put your chances up high when you're literally my boy. being pulled from the top of a mountain of corpses. Strange. You don't look ill. You're not a victim, not a guard. A spirit from the void, maybe. Another wagon comes every few minutes. How many do you think have died? They say a third of the city. I wouldn't have believed it, but I saw the mound of corpses myself. They dropped us in it. I don't blame them. I know why they do it. But I only want to die at home. <sighs> On the one hand, yeah, you gotta you gotta separate the sick from the healthy, but on the other hand again, you could at least show a bit of humanity with it. Yeah, th this as well doesn't seem like a good way to uh, contain it either. Yeah, the, the, the disease is still going to get into the water. And when it gets into the water... Yeah. Plague wagon's running every couple of minutes now. We just need to get on top of it and ride out of here. Okay, great, smart guy. And what do we do when we hit the wall of light on what short gate? We'll be fried. Worry about that when we get there. I don't hear you with any better ideas. That's because you've got fat in here. Those tall boys are just waiting for a chance to come through. We get power to their lights, and they'll go off to hunt plague. We can slip right past. And kill what? A dozen people? I didn't get into this to kill people. If only you knew how to tie up a boat. We need to make up our minds. That guy in the mask I saw? He came up from the dry canal. That's whaler territory. They're bad men. Okay, okay. We better make sure the coast is clear before we pack up. Don't want to get caught with our pants down. I don't care if I'm wearing pants or not. As long as I get out of here. Okay, so there is a way that could help us get out. But it sent the tall boy assholes into a frenzy or killing spree. I'll see that. Not the hick. Yeah, another problem with this inside what you said about the, the water will get infected. The amount of bodies that might be in there that are, have died of basically disease arms. Yeah. Like, yeah, I don't know, maybe I'll tell you what the heck happens when a whale explodes and how dangerous it is. A human corpse is also dangerous when it explodes. Yeah. Let's see. Letter to Ferg. Hey Ferg, a word, of, oh, bleh, a word of advice on your greedy little treasure hunting trips to the Flood District. You find yourself stranded and the only way out is through Rodshort Gate. This rewire tool will come in handy. If you can get through the doors, the circuitry panel for the Wall of Light is right off to the uh, right on is just on the other side. Better yet, let me come with you. I'll handle the comp complicated things. Craggy. Okay. Ferg and Craggy. And that might be two these two jackasses. Let's check them out. <laughs> nice. City Watch has set up floodlights to illuminate the buildings surrounding Rodshore Gate. When activated, the tall boys will begin hunting for plague survivors and leave their patrols. Okay, useful for us, not good for well any survivors. So yeah, let's keep those things off. And not sure if these guys will get. Well, they've got swords. So they're going to get hostile at those spots. After the city's dead, we'll make it three more months. Sorry, dudes. This is more of a precaution for myself. But at least you'll rest safe. And I'm not touching that. 
Actually, yeah, now we are at the two hour mark. <laughs> I'm too used to starting on eight, and I really should just keep a timer somewhere. So yeah, now we're only only now we're at two. So yeah, let let's still keep let's still keep true to our words and go a little bit longer. Okay. Although I don't see what took so long. It's the live ones crawling up out of the canal. Every ten minutes, I'm gutting another one. How many times have I specified that only cadavers take the long drop? It's why you get a weapon. So what is going on? Now they're saying the Lord Regent started the plague himself. I don't understand it either. It looks like a whole other group's in charge. It doesn't change things for us down here. Second item is carriers. Are you seeing plaguers come off the cart looking healthy? A few of them make it back up, and then we've got ten times the mess. Could be. Between killing weepers and finishing the barricade. How should I know? Am I supposed to kill everyone I ever see down here? I'm just passing this on from the stilt walkers. Well, pass it to the men on the plague wagons. It's their job to gut these bastards before they throw them down here. We got another whale oil tank on its way. When the lights come on again, it'll be your job to spot any weepers. You think that helps? Now I can stare old ladies in the eye before I cut them down. Why do you think no one lasts on this job? I'm heading back to civilization, or what's left of it. Keep your head and you'll be on the stilts in no time. I'll do my best. Put in a good word for me, would you? Mm. Yeah. yeah. At least there are still some good eggs in the batch. Yeah, do they raise something concerning? They even free in healthy huh? people. <laughs> Probably rats into everything. Okay, let's grab it's, this contractor's yeah. note. Hmm? Yeah, oh, you were going dear. to say something? I would say if if, if they've gone to the point that they throw anyone they think is infected, even if they're healthy, that just means risk of all getting sick. Yeah, like there there is a decent thing about casting a wide net when it comes to quarantine, but. That doesn't include <laughs> tossing people off a cliff end. In this case, yeah. quite literally. Bloody <sighs> heck. It's getting harder to find healthy workers who are willing to lay down uh, conduit in the flooded districts. So uh, so what we're going to uh, do is, to, is pick out any strong looking males who show signs of the sickness and offer them work in exchange for us uh, to look the other way. They get these floodlights hooked up and then you do what that you want with them. Yeah. Bastards. Let's see. Security work log, except for my security work log. For the next couple of days, we're going to quadri quadri bleh, quadriple the rate of drops from the plague wagon. This inevitably means we're going to get a growing number of plague carriers who play dead in hopes of escaping. So here's the plan to keep the Rutscher gate area secure. Step one, set up some arc pylons in the courtyards behind the hotel. We have a street uh, blocker up there, but we can't weld, weld it shut. We still need to use that route to access the river, which means plaguers can too. Step two, put up a barricade between Thresh Street, uh, Thresh Street and Old Mo's Leak Channel, or Canal. Step three, install more lights, especially to illuminate the hotel and surrounding buildings. You might be tempted to borrow the fish uh, the oil tank from the pylons to get the floodlights working. Do not. We need those pylons active and the backcourt uh, secure. Okay, so that is another possible route to get there. Okay, so now they gave out another hint. Okay, so many of these healthy people are just trying to escape the city in the most yeah. stupid manner possible. Yeah, I don't think that they're trying to get out of the flooded district after, well, they've been put on the, the sick wagons. But, but it seems to him that they're trying to smoke themselves out of the city through that, which is still rather stupid. Let's see, so we, we have three possible routes at the moment. Uh, well, there's of course also a fourth of just sneaking through. But that would have mean avoiding the tall boys. 
Let's see, is that going to go back in? Or is that just going to go through? See, we can get up here. We can get on top of that. And... Okay, yeah. It goes right back into the city, not out of the city. Let's see, there is the gate there. That might be a problem. Or we could just blink off of it onto the ground. We do not want to touch those rails. We do not want... We don't want that either. And that's going to put us back. Now where did that put us? Okay, right back here. So not much of a big loss at least. Oh dear gods. What's this freak on the wall? Can we actually use this? Oop, it's tipping. Did that not fall off? Okay, that almost fell back off. So at least we can grab this room now as well. I wasn't really planning to. But uh, yeah. Okay, that's that side uh, road. We could we could take a look there. We can reach it now. Hmm. But yeah, if this doesn't lead anywhere, we can try to uh, yeah, hitch a ride. And just blink off of it before we would hit the uh, the electrified fields. Hmm. Back to this place. Just... Hmm. Is there really no? Obvious way to get to that other path. Oh, wait, I I think I know what I'm misunderstanding now. The floodlights are pointed at the hotel. And the hotel is where that back way should be. So yeah, I'm guessing this that is probably to that side route. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we kind of wasted our time getting here. Why am I not surprised? <laughs> okay. It'll mean that we'll have to sneak a bit closer and hello there. Hello. Oh, the, these are the these are the survivors. We do not want to set the tall boys on these. Even if we get out of here, I'm worried. Listen to that. Magnus is worried. Apart from dying in the muck in the flooded district, what's to worry about? I'm saying even if we get out, we're just bringing it back to our families. I don't have a family. And if I did, I wouldn't care. No one's keeping me here. I'll infect the whole city. Just get me out. I heard Blake back in the stairwell talking about a plan. Sounds crazy. All of us here are too weak to do it. If I hear that thing power down, I'm going. Me too. I bet that? the family man here is right dart behind. Raced it and darts. That almost sounded like he was choking there for a second. Uh, you people hostile? No, you're not. Who are you hiding from in that mask? Just because we can't see the blood from your eyes doesn't mean you're not sick with the plague. And, like, you are not either when you're stuck Feeling in this place. Yet? Feeling the crazy yet? It's a strange tattoo on the back of your hand. Get lost. 
You think that mask makes you safe? What would it be like out there to live without fear again? To live like a person? He looks I'll a bit like the announcer. Dead. I've got things I need to do. Something about someone in the I staircase? The river. Eels Bend. Flooded district. The Whale's Tooth. I know the land out here. Believe it. Only way out is past the Ark Pylon. And your friends? They could really help? They're twice as good as I am. When the Zapper goes down, they'll come for me. They won't rescue us while it's on? They're good, not crazy. When the pylon's off, they'll move and not before. Okay, so we might need to be a bit careful. If we turn <laughs> off that pylon, then these people who probably, not uh, certainly, but probably carry the plague, are going to bolt for the city, and that's that's going to cause chaos. So yeah. we need to try and get past it without turning it off. Like, there's corpses here everywhere. They, if it's airborne, they've caught it. There's no question about that. Yeah, and they were called survivors. There it is. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, bloody, I don't understand humanity at times that they want to escape and affect everyone else than keep everyone safe. Yes, yeah. it's, a, it's a survival thing. They, they're they cornered and... I can't. They're, it's a fight or flight reaction and yeah, it's either fight the tall boys, which, well, good luck with that. Or it's uh, flee in whatever direction you can. Let's see. Excerpt from a work of fiction, final chapters. I do not fear the void, nor am I concerned with the spiritual sanctity of the weak. For I am now his herald, his chosen, having seen his sublime vault, where eternally he feeds upon the substance of the void. That sounds like the outsider. Alone in Arcado's ship, the floor painted red with life, I draw designs with my fingers and gaze through the portals at the land rising below. There I will build the first monument to his glory, a running wound in the flesh of nature. Patiently I build, awaiting your arrival, a great sign of the voids. Well, that certainly did it. That certainly took a turn from the first volume that we uh, saw. Yeah. Is is that the only? Yeah, we are. We have hit 50 minutes extra. Yeah, I think we'll have to risk it with uh, hitching a ride. It'll keep these people trapped here, but it'll also keep the the plague contained. And yeah, it's that way or that way. Yep, and I hope our mask protect us from the plague. Okay, easiest place to get on is over there. There it comes. Yeah, we'll have to jump off and rush through underneath. I'm not sure if we can teleport through uh, a light, a gate of a wall of lights. Yeah, this place is really gone to shit. Even the highest areas. Yeah, we could have gotten that much, much earlier over there. Just in case, I'm going to save. Write another ancient save. Okay, here we go. Tall boy there, tall boy there. Actually. Well, that solves that problem. Eh. 
and out we go. Old Dunwall Sewer, Toil and Trouble. You've escaped the flooded district and now you're winding your way back to the Hounds Pit pub. Yeah. <laughs> okay, what? technically this is still mid-mission, but yeah, it's at the very least the start of the next mission or level. Yep. So yeah, let's put up a save. Another. Here we there. And head back to me. Okay, yeah, I I do not remember much, if anything, of the post-assassinations uh, part. So, yeah, a lot of this will be quote-unquote new for me as well. What will mo happen mostly? Over here. But, yeah. Uh, one final thing, though. I had forgotten to mention this, and I, again, I'm bringing up the list of voice actors here. I probably should make this a bit of a common thing, if possible. Uh, the Spy Master, uh, other characters he has voice acted, well, include HK-47 from Knights of the Old Republic. And that's a very well-liked character, even though his voice is run through a lot of filters for that. It's character's name AK-47. Uh, HK-47. Oh, alright. That's because it, the character is a droid. An assassin droid, to be specific. Yeah, I thought for more he was named after a gun. <laughs> it probably still applies, but yeah. Um, let's see. I Okay, did I, did I put doubt on here? Uh, uh, I might as well go over some other of the voice actors. Pendleton, uh, the only other, the only other prominent voice I found that he did was Elder Maxon from Fallout 4, of the Brotherhood of Steel. Okay. Then there's the Outsider, and yeah, apparently the Outsider is his biggest role that he had, because otherwise he has made appearances in a bunch of crime shows like NCIS and such. Oh. <laughs> uh, let's see. Campbell, I think I might have already said, but he voices a recurring character in the rest of in Clank games. And here's a funny one uh, here with Sokolov. It's a he has a few funny ones. Because uh, he voiced a character in in the Powerpuff Girls. You want to take a guess who? Yo yo yo. yo. <laughs> You're actually correct. What what? <laughs> yeah. Sokolov is Mojo Jojo. It, it was the first thing I imagined in my head, but they kind of look alike. <laughs> yeah. And beyond that, one I had already shown you, is uh, he also voices the Chassar Cat from uh, McGee, American McGee's Alice games. Yeah, they actually make a new one of those games. Uh, there should they should be working on a third of that, yes. And uh, I think a trail of that that recently came out. Okay, that I hadn't heard of. I'll, I'll look that up after this. Yeah, I forgot to watch it myself. And okay, that's running out of power, so I should probably end it quick. And lastly, some a character, quote unquote, character he also voiced was a uh, the voice from the stream movies like basically that uh, the, the voice that is done over the phone like i didn't know where you, you did and such oh come on. <laughs> uh, i should look up if he also did the voice for uh, <laughs> for the character in the uh, scary movie parody one oh god and i think that's all right, one more since well she isn't showing up anymore the empress uh also does voice work in uh south park carthman's mom okay i can say this right away 
The hard voice in this game is an improvement. Yeah. <laughs> Those who apparently played a bunch of character voiced a bunch of characters for Marvel and DC. Uh, oh, yeah, I let's leave it at that. I think most of the list has been gone off. I probably should have checked them off every time I did one. <laughs> uh, yeah, now things are getting interesting in the game, huh? Well, interesting again. Well, it's been interesting non-stop. <laughs> yeah, because now we... Yeah, now we're fighting the same people who were our quote-unquote allies. Yep. Yeah, I do gotta wonder, were they planning this from the start, or did they just realize that... Uh, Yes, Corvo was too dangerous to be kept alive. Because if he could do all of that to all of those people, he certainly could easily have strung them up from Atlanta and somewhere as well. Yeah. They probably would fear that if she, Emily wants him as her new royal protector. Yeah. And she'd probably be near the age of that, at least. I'm... Taking, I'm guessing at the very least that she's 10 or something. Sorry. Uh, but yeah, we'll we'll see what else goes on next time because yeah, we as a minor spoiler, Piero it wasn't in on the conspiracy to get rid of us because yeah, we'll be getting back to him anyways to get him more upgrades. Yay! But, yeah, that'll be on in two days. So, <clears throat> uh, I'm drawing a bit of a blank because, yeah, I forgot to fill my water bottle, so my throat is about killing me now. Oh, God. Yeah, yeah. Yep. <clears throat> we'll see what can, happens uh, next Thursday, but until then, thank you anyone who's been watching now or later, and thank you especially, Dirk here. You're most welcome, my friend. Yeah, but until then, have a nice day, and until then. Be safe, folks!